For weeks now, we've worried about not having access to the vaccine. Tonight's story concerns people who have a ticket to the front of the line but choose not to use it. Here is Denver 7's Russell Haythorn. I try and keep her in good spirits. It's now been one year. Very difficult. Since Marine Du has hugged, kissed, or even held her 87-year-old mom's hand. She wants me to come pick her up and come home with me. And, you know, she forgets where she's at. Um, and she just, I, I want to hold her, you know, and she wants needs that too. Although her mom, Faye, has now received both doses of the vaccine, residential care visits in Colorado are still limited, in Marie's case, to visits through a window. We got to sit out in the cold when we do the window visits. I don't know why I can't at least give her a hug. The CDPHE says part of the problem is that while many of the elderly residents are getting vaccinated, only about 50 percent of staff are choosing to get the shot, even though they're all eligible. Participation nationwide even lower, just 37 percent among nursing home workers, according to the CDC. They're the, the big obstacle of the families getting to hug their, their loved ones. Those state and national numbers match anecdotal evidence that many long-term care workers are skipping the vaccines out of concern they're ineffective or unsafe. The CDPHE's chief medical officer says it's unclear when visitation restrictions might be lifted. If the staff doesn't want to get vaccinated, I think they don't need to show up for work. A growing frustration for those like Marie. My mom's deteriorating rapidly compared to what she was a year ago. Families feeling like they're running out of time in Arvada. I do. I miss her terribly. Russell Haythorn, Denver South.